Welcome to Moodle 2.x Student Documentation, Profile Settings and Password Changes. Your profile on your school's Moodle portal has been set with a few default values, but it's a great idea to personalize it so that your fellow students can get to know you better. To edit your profile settings, begin on the main portal front page or the main course page and locate the navigation block. This block may either be on the right side of your screen or you may have docked it to the left. Under the navigation block, click on My Profile and then click View Profile your public profile page will appear. Then locate the setting block and click the edit profile link from the my profile settings options. The edit profile page will have certain options highlighted in red with asterisks. These profile fields are required and must have something in them in order for you to save your profile. Let's discuss a few of the less obvious setting fields in greater detail. Email display. This field determines whether other people who are logged into the portal, students, instructors, or administrators, can see your email address. Email digest type. A digest is a collection of forum postings from all the courses you are enrolled in. So the options here are to receive no digest, which means every forum apply will come as a separate email to your inbox. A complete digest, which means forum applies will be collected throughout the day and sent to you in a single email of the complete forum post. Or subject digest, where only the subject lines of the forum post will be emailed to you. No matter which option you choose, the email will contain links for you to go directly back to the actual forum post to read it in context and reply. Forum Auto-Subscribe Generally speaking, whenever you post to a forum in a course in Moodle, you will be automatically subscribing to receive email updates anytime anyone else posts or replies to that same forum. This setting gives you the option to turn off the auto-subscription setting. Forum Tracking Not sure if there are any new posts in a forum for you to read? Turn on the forum tracking tool and a count of new forum posts will appear next to each forum in all of your classes. Once in the forum, click the check mark next to each post to mark it as read. You can also go to your home page to see how many unread posts you have for a forum. When editing text. This setting controls the format of the editing text box you will use throughout the site when writing forum posts, certain assignments, etc. We recommend that you leave this on the default setting, the HTML editor. Screen Reader. If this is set to yes, you will be able to access course information using any screen reader program installed on your computer. Moodle will use a more accessible interface than normal for certain activities, such as chat. City slash town. This field tells other people in the portal where you live. You can enter anywhere you'd like in this field. Time zone. This field is for you to select your correct time zone. Choose either server's local time, eastern time zone, or a specific time zone based on how far you are ahead or behind of universal coordinated time. Preferred language. The language you select here will determine how you will see all of the menus within Moodle. Description. This field is required so be sure to fill it in. This is for a bio or description of yourself that will be shared with your instructor and fellow classmates. It can be as long or as short as you would like. User picture. You can upload a photo of yourself here to be included in your profile information next to your forum postings and in other places that only the instructor can see, such as the grading area for assignments. Your picture needs to be in JPG or PNG format, and if it's not already a square 100 by 100 pixels, the system will crop and resize it. Interest. This is a great place to list key words that describe you and your interest, separating each word with a comma. Once your profile is saved, your interest will link to a page where you can see other people on the site who have listed the same interest. This is a great way to connect with other online students with whom you have common interest. Optional. Keep in mind that everyone on the site has access to view your profile, so only list information here that you are comfortable sharing. It's okay to leave these settings blank if you don't have an account for that service or don't want to share your information. When you have made all of your changes, click the Update Profile button. Your new profile page will appear. Password change. Do you use the same login information for your school's email site and Moodle portal? If so, your school may be using an automated authentication method that links these two logins. If that's the case, contact your school's IT department for more information about the password change process. If that doesn't sound familiar, your school may be using a manual authentication method, so you can change your password here in the Moodle portal. To change your login password, Locate the Settings block and click on My Profile Settings. Click Change Password. Type in the current password you're using once and the new password twice. When you click Save Changes, the profile page will open again.
This concludes the profile settings and password changes tutorial.